Hey, what is going on? This video, we're gonna talk about another variation of an indefinite loop, and we're gonna be talking about characters because this can cause some issues when you're doing these comparisons here. So, I modified the loop from the previous video. You can copy this here, but essentially here's how it's gonna work. It's gonna ask you if you wanna continue, and if you hit Y, it's gonna keep asking you, and yeah, it's kinda pointless, I get it, but the point is that continue question can be a large section of code. The point here is that we're building the structure to allow repeating code indefinitely. And when we want to stop, we can put something like N to quit or whatever else we want to put there. It doesn't really matter what we put there. So as an example, you can put lasagna and it still stops. That's because we're just checking for this Y here. And the funny thing here is you can actually put a lowercase Y and it still breaks. That's because it's only checking for an uppercase Y and they are two different things. So if you wanna check for both, you actually have to be careful here because I made this mistake earlier. We need to use and, so my first thought, here's what my first thought was. We could say or response is not equal to lowercase y. This actually doesn't really cover the logic properly because if response is not equal to y, that's going to break automatically because we're using or. Meaning if you put in a lowercase y, this is still gonna be hit as true and it's gonna break. So when you're using the not equals operators twice here, you may need to use an and just to make sure you cover all of the cases here. So running it now, we can put a lowercase y and it still runs. If you want to use or, then what you actually need to do is you need to replace the not equals with equals equals or response is equal equal to y, and you don't want to break, you actually want to continue. Otherwise, you want to break. So that's another way you could write the same exact loop. Running this, and we can try it out, and it seems to be working the same exact way. Good. This concept of switching between the equals with or and the not equals with and, that's a thing called De Morgan's Law. You can learn about it in electrical engineering or just logic with computer science, but you just gotta really think about what you're actually saying in your if statements. So another thing is you gotta watch out with these Y's because they are two different things. That's because capital Y and lowercase y are two separate characters, and this is based off of a thing called an ASCII table, which is basically all the characters we can use in simple text. So we got some stuff that doesn't actually show up in here, like null and bell and backspace, but the main thing we care about here is the, the characters. So you can see this is uppercase Y and this is lowercase Y. And you can see that these are two separate characters with different values. So they're not one and the same thing, which makes sense because how would a computer be able to tell between an uppercase Y and a lowercase Y if they were the same thing? So you can use the or here or the other variation where we had the and, or what you can do is you can use the lower method. So here's what it's gonna look like. We're gonna say if response dot lower, that's going to replace the string with a lowercase version of the string. So in that situation, we only have to check for a lowercase y and we can get rid of this or, which honestly just makes our code a whole lot simpler because we don't have to worry about any weird logic issues there. And we can switch this back to not equals to y, then we're gonna break. So if your response is not y, then we're gonna break out of this loop. So running this, we can try an uppercase y, try a lowercase y, and we can try a q, and it seems to be working just fine, but now our code is much easier to read. There is also an upper method. So it does the same thing, it just makes it uppercase, and in that situation you would need to check for an uppercase y here. But you'll often see these methods for string comparisons, as well as just lowering or uppercasing a string for presentation. Now again, I'm using the word method, and it is a function, but the difference here is that this function is attached to something using this dot here. When you use the dot to access the function, that function is classified as a method. So function and method, pretty much the same thing, just that function stands alone, and method is attached to some object, such as this response here, which is a string. So strings have a method called lower that we can use to replace it with a lowercase version of the string. So that's all I got for you in this video. Stay tuned for the next one.